Hello, everyone. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How are you doing on this Sunday evening? October 8th, 2023. Yes, we're in the eighth day. So it could be very well a new beginning for someone today. Um, but I do pray that you had a wonderful service. How was it? Did you have a good service? I hope you had a good one. Amen. Well, here we are at the rest stop. I am the Reverend Dr. Malachi Williams. And what we do here at the rest stop is we read the word of God. We rest in it. We ask the Lord to give us some revelation and we receive from God. And then we go on the next leg of our journey. It's like a rest stop. Like when you're traveling along the way and you pull over and you rest stop. And then you get yourself together and then you move on to your next leg of the journey. Well, that's what we do here at the rest stop. Of course, um, the original meaning is the seal of God. So the rest stop, which is a note, it's noteworthy in, um, that we see in the Psalter. Uh, but, uh, but here uh, we are resting and we are stopping and we are also developing some spiritual rhythms. All right, here we go. There it is. We're developing some spiritual rhythms. So here uh, we are. Today we're going to read, we always read from the lectionary. So today we're going to read the first reading in the lectionary. And I want to pull that up for you. Did I say it's the 27th week of Ordinary Time? I don't know if I said that yet. We are in the 27th week of Ordinary Time. So here we are. Let's pull up this first reading. Very familiar reading. Amen. Um, It is Exodus chapter 20. And we're reading some select verses. So it's Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 4, then 7 through 9, and then 12 through 20. Okay? Uh, 1 through 4, 7 through 9, and then 12 through 20. When you have the word of God, say, amen, amen. All right, here it is in your hearing and in our reading together. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in the heaven above or that is on the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord, your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days you shall labor, do all your work. Then verse 12, honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord, your God, is giving you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or male or female slave or ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbor. When all the people witnessed the thunder and lightning, the sound of the trumpet and the mountain smoking, they were afraid and trembled and stood at a distance and said to Moses, you speak to us and we will listen, but do not let God uh, speak to us or we will die. Moses said to the people, do not be afraid for God has come only to test you and to put the fear of him upon you so that you do not sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. All right. Here we are in the lectionary with the Ten Commandments, right? You've read these commandments before. These are very familiar to you since you were, what do they say? The knee high to a grasshopper. I think that's the saying. So you've read these before. Um, Ten commandments, right? They are the moral laws that God gave to the Israelites, right? So these are the laws that he gave to them upon their um, leaving, their exodus from Egypt, right? So we have uh, the Decalogue. It's also called the Decalogue. So you've got these 10 commandments. Um, And uh, here we learn that there are relational aspects 
with regard to these commandments. All right. So it's not just like a set of laws and a set of rules, do's and do nots. There's some relational aspect to us, to it that we can glean from. All right. So here we go. Um, I usually don't have notes, but um, I want to pull up some information for you here because uh, for actually from my sermon, yeah, I, I preached this this morning, but uh, I can go off the cuff, but I want to make sure that I get all of this in for you. So the first four, eh, let me, let me, I'm going to do it with the notes. All right. I don't need the notes. All right. So the first four, listen up, first four of these, there is the relationship between um, the person and God. All right. So Israel as a nation and God. We are people of God. So there's a connection, right? First four commandments, relationship um, to God. Now in the second six, there is the relationship to others, all right? Now I know that these were select verses and the lectionary didn't put in everything, but all 10 of the commandments are there. So let me go ahead and pull this back up, the lectionary. Let me grab it. Uh, let me grab it so I can see. Okay, so you ready? Here we go. So all 10 are here. First one you see in verse three, you shall not have you shall have no other God before me, right? That means that this, this relationship here, this, this, it's between you and God. No other gods, nothing outside of it, between the nation and God, all right? So don't have any other gods. And then also don't make any idols. So it says don't make anything um, in the heavens above on the earth, under the earth, in the water, don't make any idols, all right? That's relationship with God. And then also, um, don't make a wrongful use of the name of God, right? Honor him, speak well of him, all right? Relationship with God. And then the fourth one is, is the, remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. The holy day, the day of rest, the Sabbath day, the Sabbath day is time when we are to rest and we are to spend time with God. All right. Now, here you go. When you move into the next part here about honoring your father and your mother, now we're starting to, to think about the relationship with others. Okay. Um, and actually in the Sabbath rest, there is a little bit of that happening too, because you are still supposed to be in fellowship with other people. All right. But there's this move into the relationship with others in any, in any regard, you've got the relationship with God, You've got the relationship with others. So these next six, you see that, right? Don't don't take from anybody else. Don't murder anybody, right? Don't covet your neighbor stuff. Don't speak, you know, horrible things about them and tell lies against them. You honor your father and your mother. All of that. That's about how we are to live in relationship with others. So you've got this beautiful picture that we always talk about, sort of the picture as Christians, we talk about this vertical and this horizontal a relationship. So this relationship with God and this relationship with others, of course, we as Christians see that as the cross, right? So we can see that as the cross. And then Jesus over in the uh, New Testament and the gospels, when he's asked about, of course, we see in um, the gospels that a Pharisee will ask him, you know, what do you say about the, the laws of Moses? And then Jesus is able to take all of these commandments and, and boil them down to two. He says, love the Lord your God, right? Love the Lord your God. And he, he tells you how to love him, holistically love him. And then he says to love your neighbor, how? As yourself. All right. So we've got relationship with God, relationship with others. And then within all of that, it's a healthy relationship with yourself. You can't love God. You can't love others until you start to understand how to love yourself. In fact, actually, you can start the process. Right. So God says to us, come as you are, come as you are. So you come as you are. And in our development of our relationship with God, in our development of our relationship with others, we can also make sure to take care of ourselves as well. OK, so um, is that something that you can use this week? 
Is that something that you can take away from this lesson? The importance of having those, those, those very special and dynamic relationships with God, self, and others. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. Actually, I've heard it. I've heard it. Here, here's an acronym that I've heard. J-O-Y. Jesus, others, and yourself. Isn't that nice? Joy. So can you take a little bit of joy with you this week? I pray so. Okay, well, let's rest and let's stop in this, all right? Okay, let's rest and stop together. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this day that you've made. Lord, we thank you for the reminder of how we are to love. Father, help us uh, to, to love you to love others and Lord to to care about ourselves to have good self care right we we pray your shalom over us that we would have the well being in fact Lord as I think about shalom we want to pause and we want to pray for Israel we pray your shalom over Israel even now Lord that this war would cease the shalom of God be upon them over that nation over those people over the land God we pray your shalom send your spirit hallelujah uh, bring peace well-being lord hallelujah we give you praise lord we love you we thank you we glorify you in jesus name i pray all right my friends all right so we've come to the end of another rest stop and I pray that you have a beautiful week and I will see you at the next rest stop. I don't think that we have any other, hmm, no, there's a little, little holiday here coming up. Uh, I guess it's a uh, indigenous people's day. We're calling it now, I think, but uh, the Lord bless you and keep you in all of your days. And uh, may you have a blessed day uh, and a blessed week. And I'll see you all at the next rest stop. Bye.